What I'm making today is a Midwestern classic that will make you scratch your head a little if you've never been to the Midwest, fill you with nostalgia and hunger if you were raised there. Whether your mom's recipe is better or what strong opinions you have about how to make a hot dish, your standard hot dish recipe is one pound of ground meat, two cans cream of whatever soup you have left in your cupboard, and some sort of starch to top it all off. I'm gonna chop an onion. Some of you might already be watching this and saying she's doing it wrong. If you wanna go really basic, you just brown your meat, dump some soup in, and top it with tater tots and call it good. But I like to put a little bit of effort in. You're well on your way to a gourmet Midwestern dinner. Throw your onions in there, let them get to know each other, they'll become friends. While you're waiting, you could use this time to drink a beer, do your taxes. You could do a Sudoku puzzle. Finish that crossword you've been waiting on for a couple of months. Crack another beer. You should add salt and pepper and a little garlic seasoning. That looks nice and brown. A little greasy though, you're gonna wanna drain the grease off of your meat. Like a pro. That's disgusting. Empty your meat to your nine by eight casserole pan. But this isn't a casserole, it's a hot dish. You're gonna need some pasty white products to bring it all together. So I'm using cream of mushroom soup. Oh, with roasted garlic too, that's a bonus. And cream of chicken and mushroom. Look at this jiggle. Oh. But wait, there's more. I like to put green beans and corn in my hot dish. You might think it's time for the tater tots, but wait, there's more. I'm of the opinion that cheese belongs on a tater tot hot dish. So before we put those tater tots down, I'm gonna sprinkle about a cup of cheese on here. The most important part, tater tots. If you're short on time, dump it on there. It's a little lazy. Oh gosh, I don't wanna offend anyone. You've got the time, you go all out, and you layer out those tater tots for maximum crispiness. Tots are laid out in beautiful rows. Now sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it just for an extra flair. You have a kid of the age to work an oven. You can just make this the night before, pop some foil on it, and top it with a post-it note that says bake at 350 for 45 minutes. It's a life hack I learned from my mom. She didn't, she never told me it. I just, I grew up opening fridges with these instructions on it for a long time. The smell of tater tots is wafting through the air around here, and I think our hot dish is ready. Mm, that smells amazing. This isn't just a piece of heritage. This isn't just something that your mom makes you. This is a thing of beauty. Serve your hot dish, and you can kind of measure it by the tater tots. I'm gonna do just a standard three by three here for a square cut. A tot and a big bite. Mm, oh my god, delicious that is. Have you, if you've ever eaten comfort, this is what it tastes like to sit on a couch in sweatpants all day. Hair tot hot dish, pure comfort.